Hey guys, it's Jeremy from Three Putts Golf. Doug and I just had a, a pretty cool day actually. We got invited to play a very private local course called Williamsport Country Club uh, in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And we were able to take the, the nice gentleman up on the offer to go play. This course was opened in, first. In, the first line holes was opened in 1909, and it's an A.W. Tillinghast design, which is really cool. Uh, if you guys are familiar with golf courses, he designed Wayne Foot, Beth Page Black, and tons of other awesome courses. So yeah, the front nine was opened in 1909, and it was finished up in, the second nine was finished up in 1923, and it's a pretty private and pretty expensive club. So we were really fortunate to be able to get out there. Uh, Mr. Lee, if you're watching, Thank you, we really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll get out again to play sometime and we can buy next time. But yeah, so I will uh, be giving you guys a little bit of a walkthrough, do a quick course review and provide just a couple of our thoughts um, as we went around and kind of what we were seeing out on the course because it was really an interesting place to play. If you have any qu questions, please post comments down below and we'll try to get back to them as quick as we can. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and jump in. So we started out on the back nine. Number 10 is a slightly downhill par 3 named Oasis that plays 143 yards from the white tees. The green slopes mostly back to front, uh, but it can kind of funnel toward the middle too. It was a pretty cool par 3 to start out the round. That brought us to what I think was my favorite hole of the day, number 11. Uh, it's called Water Hole, kind of for the obvious reason that you can see in front of you, and plays 346 yards from the whites. Uh, the tee shot was kind of tough since you had to either shape something around the tree on the right there or take on the very narrow left side. The green was wide and sloped pretty hard also from back to front. Skipping ahead a bit, the 15th was a par 3 right next to the clubhouse that played 153 yards slightly downhill and over a small valley with a green that sloped hard from back to front. The 18th was probably my second favorite hole on the course. It's a 503 yard par 5 named Vista. The tee shot features a view of downtown Williamsport, then with the approach down a steep hill to a somewhat small green with bunkers on either side. It's a pretty good chance for a birdie. The first hole, which was our 10th, had a unique tee shot down over a very large drop. It's a short par 4 with out of bounds to the left, which is a road. Uh, the hole is named Roadside for a reason. The eighth hole called Hit Hard is the longest par four on the course, playing at 439 yards. It's a really pretty but demanding hole uh, with a small green that's surrounded by bunkers on three sides. Our finishing hole, which was the ninth, is called Trap Wise and is one of the signature holes at Williamsport Country Club. The tee shots from an elevated tee box to a pretty wide fairway, but the green has two cross bunkers in front and then three other bunkers left and right of the green. It was a very challenging way to finish out our round. So thanks guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. Uh, just my kind of final thoughts. Um, I thought this course was a blast. It was tough. It beat me up. Um, I scored actually pretty well, um, but it was one of the tougher courses I've played in the area. So thankfully you got to play the course at a really awesome time. The grass was all nice and green. The flowers were really blooming, so it was in great shape. Uh, the greens were, were pretty quick for this time of year, and I just wasn't used to the slope around here. There's a lot of slope on these greens that we don't usually get at courses in you know the middle of Pennsylvania. If you were on the greens and weren't below the hole, um, you had a lot of really slippery um, side hill putts, downhill putts, you know, sliding putts. Uh, so the key was really to keep the ball below the hole, which 
you know, I was able to do sometimes and not other times, and my score kind of reflects that. But you really had to make sure that you put the ball in the right spots or you were dead. I mean, the, the rough was very long and very thick, and a lot of times if you got into it, you were just chipping out sideways to even have a shot. There were some neat features on some of the holes. There were a couple punch ball greens, which I thought were really fun. Some of the bunkering was really interesting. Um, thankfully, I didn't actually have to play on any of the bunkers today because I didn't hit it in any of them. But just the, the visual element was really cool. Um, I think you saw that probably on number nine was one of the neater ones. But yeah, once again, if you have any questions, please post comments down below. Uh, and hopefully we will see you guys next time. And hopefully we can get some more course reviews going here for you over the summer. So once again, thanks for watching 3 Putts Golf, and we'll see you soon.